Do you want to work in Australia? No. No? My concerns are you have come to Australia, but yes. you have no idea what you want to do or see here. So I'm a bit concerned about that. What did you study in China? <sighs> I finished my bachelor degree and then go to New Zealand yeah. to carry on my postgraduate. Oh, okay. That means I can get the master degree in New Zealand. Oh, yes. Is that all right? Yeah, of course that's fine. You, you can it? check the New Zealand yeah, visa. That's fine. At first. I, I had a look at that already. What I want to do is ask you. She's travelling with this girl. The pair study together in New Zealand and it appears they also attend the same school of etiquette. Like, like we said before, we're just doing our job and we have to assess the reason why you're here. Okay, but I never can use this in flesh. Bringing bad manners over the border is not a crime. But if it's a tactic to hide something, officers need to know. Yeah, now what I want to know is what, what are you doing here in Australia? You've come to Melbourne, so when you leave the airport, what will you do for seven days in Australia? Just go around. You're like a visitor. OK, what, what, what are you going to go and visit? Whoa. Over at the other bench, they're having just as much trouble getting straight answers. Today we're having a look because of the, you'll come for a short time and you don't know really what you're going to do here. Why do you need to know the reason? We need to make sure that you're coming here for legitimate reasons. You, my concerns are you have come to Australia but yes. you have no idea what you want to do or see here. So I'm a bit concerned about that. It is unusual for somebody I don't to know come... The reason. But it's, for me, it's unusual for somebody to come I to Australia. I think the Australia. reason probably is that my citizen is Chinese. That's the no, reason. it's got nothing to do with that. Officer Maria checks the girl's the bags, oh, okay. which is met with so more protest from the passenger. If you use the x-ray, you can find the food or anything. Yes. I'm I not could. concerned about food today, but I need to make sure. So I think you, you don't have right to examine my baggage. OK, let me just explain to you what's happening here. When you travel through an international airport, customs have the right to search your bags and make sure that everything is legitimate. And we have the right to search you as a person to make sure you're here for legitimate reasons. OK, does that make sense to you? Does that make sense to you? Okay, just can carry on. No, I just want you to understand what we're doing here today. I understand. You understand? Okay. Yes. And it's not what's there, but what isn't there that suggests this girl might be trying to hide something. Is this all the clothing you have? Yes. So this is all you have for seven days? Yes. Not very much. Oh, you know, if you just have a trip in yeah. one country, it's enough. Yeah, this is enough. Okay. For me, it's different. I think uh, I, I need to bring a lot more okay. things. Officer Maria is about to discover something in her bags that could explain why this girl is being so guarded. What will you see and do in Melbourne? Oh, just have a trip and go to the university to find some fine things. Some, some fine some fun information about the university. Oh, uh, you want to because study in Australia? Because I start, no. No? No, I won't. It's a computer. Yeah. How come you bring your computer with you? <laughs> because I bring my computer every day. Yeah? So I use you. this for my life and for my study. Oh, okay. How come you carry all sense? these papers? Because it's a very important document. Yeah. Do you know that? So you, you don't want to I, leave it at home? I live in New Zealand. It's not, yeah. it's not a citizen. Okay. So I should bring the everything, very important yeah. things with me. Oh, OK. Is this one like a, a resume or a CV? Yes. Yeah? She does not have a visa to work in Australia. So the discovery of her CV could explain why she's being so evasive. Do you want to work in Australia? No. No? Do you want to study in Australia? No. No. At this stage, officers need to know if these girls are a customs or immigration risk. And over at the other bench, they discover a piece of the puzzle that could finally explain exactly why these girls are here. This one here in Melbourne, what, what does that mean in the money here? It means if we want this person to help us. This is the money I should pay for them. Officers want to know what this document means and why these girls are seeking help that costs more than a $1,000. Oh, you know what, it's just so hard because she's just not cooperating at all. She's got nothing, no clothes. 
No toiletries. Nothing. Con- she's got a camera, which is the only thing consistent to a tourist. Maria continues questioning the girl, while Kathleen assists Officer Brett with the other passenger. They discover paperwork that appears to explain why the girls are here. What's the money for? About the shoes the college. And the, uh, the college, yeah. yeah. This kind of thing happens. So do you want to do some study in Australia or...? The purpose of we come here is visit some colleges and make a, and make a decision. It appears the girls are on a fact-finding mission to decide whether or not to study in Australia. But officers are still concerned the pair could be an immigration risk. After searching through their bags, we decided that they were no longer a risk to customs, but they could possibly be a risk to immigration due to the fact that they were carrying CVs and laptops and minimal clothing and we had concerns that they may be coming into Australia to work, which would be a breach of their visa. Officer Maria calls immigration, then delivers the news to the passenger. I have concerns that you might be here to work, so immigration are going to come and have an interview with you because you have nothing with you today. You don't even have any toiletries. You have all these documents here, which to me suggest that you may be here to work. So I've referred this case to immigration. They're going to come down and have an interview with you and just see if your story is legitimate, if you are here for a tourist okay, reason. Okay, 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 okay. okay. one or two things, you've got the whole bench. Like for me, for me, if you, if you have a look at that, for me, it looks like you're coming here to sell it. That's, that doesn't look like personal use. At Sydney Airport, a quarantine baggage search has just uncovered a suspicious quantity of undeclared jewellery, and now Customs is involved. Yeah, x-rays from quarantine showed their bag was full of some something, so they called us over upon first inspection, you know, went from a little bit of jewellery to more to more, you know. As soon as you see something like that, you know that it's for the sale purposes. Madam, is this your name? Yes. This is your signature? Can you answer these questions yourself? OK, this baggage belongs to you. OK, have you packed it yourself? The woman from China is being tight-lipped about the goods, keeping her cool and claiming that her jewellery is all strictly for personal use. Do you see over here it's how it says Goods over nine hundred dollars. You need to declare, and it also says here, goods samples, for, for, you know, used for commercial use. You, you didn't know. Sorry. First time, ma. See, it's not, it's not one or two things. You've got the whole bench. Like for me, for me, if you, if you have a look at that, for me, it looks like you're coming here to sell it. That's, that doesn't look like personal use. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. My problem is at the moment that you're telling me. This is all for personal use. Yeah. I because I I because look, if you have a look there, it's about 20 Bengals. For the friends. So you you you're saying that you've got them for presents for friends? Is there anything else anywhere else? Despite the passengers' denials, this is clearly a commercial quantity of jewellery. So far, there are holes in her story, and she still seems to be hiding something. Can you tell me who's credit? Who is your husband? Why are you carrying your husband's credit card? Because he's my husband. Even though she says it's her husband's, carrying a credit card in another person's name will often arouse suspicion. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. You don't have to say or do anything, but anything you do say or do may be used in evidence. Do you understand that? This undeclared haul could be just the beginning, as officers have now discovered she was not travelling alone. Oh, where's this person? My husband. Oh, it's your hubby. Is that him? Yes. Was he travelling with you here? Yes. Okay. Where is he now, Asa? Maybe. Was he carrying any jewellery with him? Uh... We'll bring him in now, so if you can tell us now if he's carrying jewellery before we bring him in, that'd be very helpful. Yeah, little bit. He's carrying jewellery as well? Okay. Can you escort her out, bring her back in? If they locate him and he's also carrying jewellery, the couple could be in serious trouble. Customs has just found the husband of this passenger 
and a baggage exam reveals that he also has a huge quantity of undeclared jewellery. Remember outside how I asked you if you have any jewellery? You said, you said you have a little bit? You've got half a bag. You said you had a couple of things for the hair. What, what are you going to do with this jewellery? My wife do the, the, the jewellery in the job here. Yeah. Her job? Yeah. So she's not using it for her personal use? Because she told us she's using it for herself. The undeclared merchandise was held by customs because the couple failed to follow correct importation procedures. 